Meg from Elphick Event Ponies and Lucy from Footloose Eventing and today we're here in Leipzig for the FBI World Cup Finals. That's right, we've travelled long and far all the way to Germany. It hasn't been running for a few years so it is a big deal to be at the FBI World Cup Finals today. There's a lot of action going on isn't there Lucy? There is, so we've got the show jumping, we've got the vaulting, the driving and the dressage so there is plenty for us to get stuck into. So. Speaking of which, should we uh, head inside? up inside? So we have made our way through an extensive shopping village. So many shops, I've seen many a thing I might like to purchase actually. We are now outside the main oh. arena. And we're going to go for a course walk. So we're here at the main arena at Leipzig and we're just about to walk the course for the three star. It's looking pretty beefy. We're at fence one now, but this is a 150 track. Mm. Enormous, but it's a beautiful arena. So let's get walking and see if we go from here. So we've just taken our seats and the class has started and we're oh seeing some <laughs> that line. really impressive turns um, and it's just, just the best example of, of show jumping. Of show yeah, jumping. Another clear round. Another good surprise, surprise. So how many riders are in this class now? So we've got 42 starters, so a pretty big class. And but I think the one that we're waiting for is, yeah, David will. David we get to actually will. talk to him after. We're going to talk to him just across, just play around. But let's have a look. Left the main arena and we're walking down to the stables and uh, here we're enormous sorry yeah we need to get a full view of it's how it's a gigantic L shape but that's got to be what I mean that's like 40-60 it's a good time and then there. <laughs> do you going to walk it out and then I reckon if we just do a few lunges <laughs> yeah. we need a 100 meter sprint down here okay so we've just come into the where the stables are now just behind us there and there's like another like warm up I guess, or stretchy area here. Yeah, so space warm up, cool Excellent. down. Um, and yeah. We're gonna go and find David Will again. We've got a little something special in store for you guys. Up our sleeve. <laughs> you know where you're going. Just down here. There he is, on the chat. Hashtag spotted. Right, so David, we're going to play a quick game of word association here. So I'm going to say a word, and you're going to say something, the first thing that comes to your head. It's going to be okay? snappy. So it's going to be quick, literally, but no thinking about it, just dive straight in and do it, okay? I don't know if that's a minute. No, no, that's good. <laughs> jumping. Horses. Horse. Ah, jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Takeaway, food. Uh, McDonald's. Leipzig. Sorry? Leipzig. Leipzig, World Cup final. Holiday. Um, beach. Cross country. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back in the main arena and we're filming our second course of the day and this is the big one, guys. Sorry, can we just have a look at this fence? <laughs> what is it? Sorry, this, this is an illusion. Gappy, that would be the definition of gappy, it's I would like say. It's so easy yeah. to have four points. Yeah, it's kind of like half a puissance. I can't, I've never seen anything like it. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Ooh. So these fences are a whopping one meter, 55 centimeters. It's above oh. my shoulder. Justin loves it. <laughs>
the first round of the Jumping World Cup is over, which means it's the jump, jump off. Off. And I think a handful of riders have got through. It's really tense. Tense class, wasn't it? It was very tense. And the final fence was getting quite a few people out, which... That was it, the bogey fence. It, it really was. So we'd be like, Ugh! and then the last Definitely one would be there. However, like you said, we've got some riders coming forward into the jump off, so... Sorry. This background music, though. <laughs> So atmospheric. So yeah, stay tuned for the jump off, guys. Okay, so the jump off is going on literally just behind us. I've just seen who's. We're actually going to play a quick game of heads up. You ready? Well, the rules of the game is Lucy is going to hold a card. She doesn't know what's on this. And she can ask questions. You're going to want to flip that just for the viewer's point of view. There we go. She can ask questions and I can only answer with yes or no. Okay, it nays. Okay, so am I a horse? Well done. <laughs> am I a show jumper? No. Am I an inventor? No. Am I a dressage horse? <laughs> well done, yes. Yeah. Am I really, really good? Yeah, you're quite good. Am I the legend? Yes, you are. You legend. I'm gonna give you the category. Uh huh. <laughs> the category is person. Oh god. Okay. Am I a rider? Sort of. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. Am I shooting him first? No. Am I a venter? Yeah. Am I a five star venter? <laughs> Am I an amateur venter? Yeah. Do I. Do I compete? Yeah. Am I a well known name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I a vlogger? Yes. Me? Yes. <laughs> God, that's <sake>, ridiculous. <laughs> Yes. And I like it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't say that on the card, but... Am I the FOM? Yes, you are! 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 Yes, about coming into these spectacular FEI events is the shopping. <laughs> wow. And there is many. <laughs> me that was the jacket I was on about. Look how gorgeous that is. Sorry, let me just show you this. Look at the colour of this. Do you think that's stunning? I love it. Yeah, it's a jacket. The material is gorgeous. Fit loose, we fit love. Now I'm in the frame. Anyway, as we were saying, there is many a train stand here at Leipzig. We're going to have a little gander around. And also, fun fact, dogs are allowed to this event, which has given me so much joy walking around seeing all the cute little doggies, so bonus. Right, so you guys think you've seen Saddle Paz. You just wait on it. You think you know Matchy Matchy? Yeah. I don't think you've seen Matchy Matchy yet. Come, come, come here. Feast your eyes on this. I mean, it's cut one. I'm a dumb dummy. It's a cup Starstruck because we've just had a uh, autograph signing and picture with the one and only Marcus Henry, and we're going to insert the photos poof, here of us with him. It's so. actually really nice here though because there's been several rider signings, like, yeah. there's been so many opportunities to go and meet people. That's another really cool. great thing about these FEI events. If you'd like to know more about FEI events coming up, you need to go to FEI.org and you can find ones that you guys could go to later on in the year. There's so much going on. 
So we're back here in the stables and we are here with Joanne Eccles, who's come to talk to us all about vaulting. So Joanne, tell us firstly a little bit about you, your achievements. So apparently you've won way. Twice, I believe. Twice. Yeah. Um, You've won a World Cup That's, yeah. and many other championships in, in between. between. So an oracle of knowledge <laughs> when it comes to vaulting. We sadly are not. So can you tell us a bit more, first about how it's actually judged? Yeah, absolutely. So there's four judges for an event like this. 25% um, is the horse score, so that's really important. 50% um, is the technique score, so that's partly the exercises that are performed, how difficult they are and how well they're performed. And then 25% is the artistry, so we're looking for a story and the music and the arm moves and just an all-round excellent performance. So when you say horse score, is that the way the horse is going? Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking at the rhythm, the suppleness, how relaxed the horse is, and how it's moving. But the lunger gets a score too, so it's important that we're oh, watching really? what the lunger's doing. And are yeah, they catching the horse? Yeah. Are they really doing the right things? And how multiple is the horse too? That's important. How multiple? Yeah, I mean, I was expecting to see some 12 twos. They're That's easy massive. to get on. They're They've enormous. Seen some huge, and this one behind us, Callie. Callie I think his name is. He's back there. Over. Probably about 16 to 17 months of them, so they are really big. You have yeah. to have some spring for you, I, I imagine. Absolutely, <laughs> and then the horse like this will be able to take a squad, so you need to have be able to have three people. So, not wow. here, yeah, no normal championships would be yeah. a squad here, there'll be a pas de deux um, and an individual on the horse. And in, in terms of your own training, do you have to do gymnastics regularly? Is that yeah, there's a lot of gymnastics, strength and conditioning, as well as work on the horse yeah. and off the horse. So what would you say ratio to off the horse to on the horse is? I mean, massive off the horse. Really? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important what the horse does and the horse's gait, um, but so much work has to be done off the horse so the body control is there when you're on the horse. And in terms of the routine, like who choreographs that? Because it sounds a, a bit sort of like a dance with the music and the movements. Who's in charge of deciding what you do? It depends on the various teams. So some people will have a choreographer come in and help them. More often than not, you know, at the beginning of a season, you'll have a discussion. What do I want to portray this year? The music, the outfit. And then, yeah, it depends if you've got a choreographer who can come in. Some people are just really good themselves at doing it. Um, each country and each club is completely different. To it's incredible. I can't wait to go and watch. I think there's going to be some on this afternoon you can actually go and see. Strong. Very We've strong. watched amazing vaulting. Amazing vaulting. A speed class. The speediest of all. <laughs> so now they're just setting up for the driving. The final class of the, the day. The final class, which is funny enough because it's yeah, 11 pm. So.
Leipzig, what a show. Can we you come again? <laughs> I Next year, definitely. It has been incredible. I don't know what my highlight was. The Baltic, it's the first time I've ever seen it live. And it was just beyond mesmerising. I think le- we learned so much. It was really nice to chat with Joanne before because I feel like we so had a much better idea. What we were looking for and looking for. I think we could have finished it. It was fantastic. We were, yeah, we were judging it, for sure. So if you guys also want to come along to an FEI event, head over to the FEI website, www.fei.org the whole list of events there is honestly so much on wherever you're based in the world there will be something for you so do check it out it has been so much fun there is just an enormous amount going on guys remember if you can't make it to any of the FEI events head over to FEI TV where it will be shown there so you can catch up You'll be able to from watch the comfort of your own home right that is good night from us we hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to the FBI YouTube channel for more. Comment below, what was your favorite thing to watch? And what event would you like to see us at next? Exactly, there we go. So right. it's bye from Footloose Eventing. And Elphick Event Ponies. Oh,